I've been having a think. Um, my last two in the fat video that I did just before Christmas, um, I explained that you know things are going to be changing on my channel this year. I'm going to be changing my bot buying strategy instead of just going out into the world at every opportunity to buy as many bots as possible with as much money as I've got. I'm now changing that strategy to concentrating on the bots that I really want and then mostly buying them online from eBay and from you know the, the web shops. And this might be affecting um, my regular video content this year like uh, car boot hauls or car boot videos, uh, toy hunts and most importantly my end of month bot hauls because I, I, I thought that I might not be getting as many bots as I have been doing and if I'm only getting a, a, a smaller number of bots then it probably won't be worth me doing an end of month bot haul video. And I've been having a, a think about this the last couple of days and I know uh, I've had some uh, feedback on that video and uh, most people have been fairly supportive of my action. Um, I have disappointed uh, w one or two people and uh, one person in particular is a little uh, little disappointed about my move and I'm sorry for that Gary. But uh, yeah, so I've been having to think, you know, really I need to come up with something else as a replacement for, for all the stuff that I'm going to take away, bring something else in to take, take its place. So I've been having to think about this and then I thought, I know what I can do. I can do this. Move the chair to the side. Sit on the bed so you can see my hands. And then do this. Ooh, look what's in here. Unboxing videos. Oh, this is just a prop box, by the way. Yeah, I can do unboxing videos. <laughs> Because, because I'm going to be getting lots of parcels coming in. And uh, January the 1st, <laughs> on, on the morning of January the 1st, the first thing I did when I got up out of bed at 9 o'clock in the morning was I went straight onto eBay and went bosh, 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 bosh. I bought seven items on eBay, including three third-party bots, um, an, old, uh, an old gang bot. Mm, yeah, it's got an old gang bot. And... Uh, an old uh, 2001 RID figure and a couple of comics. So yeah, I, and I, I blew 300 quid like that on eBay, January the 1st, early morning. So yeah, I've got stuff on the way already and I'm expecting some of the things to start arriving next week, hopefully, fingers crossed. Now if I play this smart and the, the way that I order them, I can have it so that I can get something arrive every single week. So I will virtually every week I will be able to do an unboxing video and if, if I get into the swing of doing these that they can be nice and short, they won't be like 20 minute long videos, they'll probably be like 4 or 5 minutes long, a quick rip it open, look at my response, see what I've got, jobs are good. And if I you know, get a system going with them, get a, get a, a technique down on doing uh, unboxing videos, that could be you know, a channel filler, something that, that you can watch and would you want to watch that? Would you be happy watching me doing unboxing videos? I mean, you will get to see the bots that I've been bought. I mean, the, the main people, the main reason why people do unboxing videos is so you can see the, the response on the faces of the people when they unbox stuff. So there'll be a lot of that going on. So yeah, that is the thought that I've had you know, percolating in my head of what I can do to address the situation that certain videos that I have been doing regularly, which I, I know they're part of the things that make my channel what it is and I know I've, I've bought in a, a couple of uh, subscribers who like watching my monthly haul videos and one person in particular has used it as inspiration to do his own haul videos I mean I'm flattered I really am <laughs> that somebody else has taken my idea and done their own thing with it you know that's fantastic but yeah the fact that I would be taking away the thing that makes my channel what it is, is, is kind of mean, I think. And I, I want to try and address the situation, and this is what I've come up with, unboxing videos. So let me know in the comments what you think about this, this change of direction on my channel. Obviously, I'm going to be doing reviews as well, uh, and mostly uh, you know, Korean transforming robot reviews, because I'm planning on getting at least one or t well, at least t probably two Korean you know, transforming robot toys a month. That's my plan. 
because there, there is a whole bunch of them that I want. And if I sort of restrict myself, say, okay, I'll only get two or like one from each line or something like that, then I will have a steady stream of stuff that I can put on my channel. So there should actually, as a result, there should be more, a lot more stuff on my channel this year because of all these changes. So you'll be getting more videos. And hopefully my subscriber base will, will start climbing up again because at the moment it's sort, it's sort of plateaued out and it's the, the number of uh, views I'm getting on videos seems to be a sort of like an average of about around about sort of 50, 60 views. But uh, it is what it is and I accept it for what it is. Um, while we're on the subject of changes, uh, another thing I wanted to make a, a note of, um, I've probably mentioned <laughs> in videos in the past that oh, I missed the list, I like doing lists and I've been keeping accurate lists of my Transformers collecting habit by writing, whenever I buy something I write it down and yeah, I do all that. Well, the thing is, it kind of got a bit out of hand last year. I had about 14, 15 lists I was updating. I mean, if I bought one Transformer toy, I'd probably have to update at least three to four lists to get it all ship shape and Bristol fashion. The thing is though, I mean, it, I was doing it so much that, and up until about October, the figures sort of um, married up and I was doing it very, very, being very careful, noting down the figures of the prices of the, the bots that I bought. And for the most part, I was doing a good job of it. And I, I got the odd discrepancy coming in. That was mainly due to, because I'm usually, you know, typing them out on a mobile and I've got quite fat digits and I might, let's say I'm going for a number four and I might press number five instead. So I might have pressed the wrong digit because because you know, touch screens are so small on phones. And uh, I'll put the wrong digit in. But up until October, I managed to sort of catch the discrepancies and, and all the figures married up. And then I had October and stuff happened in October. It was, it was weird. Um, and I'm not quite sure exactly how much I spent, even though I was keeping very close records. And a discrepancy crept into my list system and I've not been able to find it. And after October, nothing added up <laughs> and it was, it's been doing my head in and I've tried a couple of times to try and figure out where the, the problem lies and I just cannot find it. So I've made a complete and utter change to my listing system. Now, instead of updating like over a dozen lists, I've just got one list, one master list. And this is the list of the stuff that I bought the other day. The way this one works is that every month I will do a list. I will put everything on it that I buy, by date, where it come from, because I sort of split my Transformer collection up into categories, like eight different categories, and they are uh, convention halls, eBay, bots bought at retail, car boot, uh, stuff bought online, you know, Big Bad Toy Store, Amazon, places like that, uh, toy fairs, other collectors, you know, buying stuff from other collectors, and miscellaneous. So I split it up into these eight categories. And obviously I had individual lists for each of those eight categories and then I put them all together in the the, the big list, the, the, the total spend list. And that was where all the, the problems and discrepancies uh, came in. But now I'm gonna do it on one list. One list, this is just a hard copy, I'm obviously doing it on my mobile as well. One list, well, I list everything every month and then I'll just add it all up at the end of the month and then I'll move on to the next month. And everything will just go on top one list. I won't be updating the separate lists. That was then, this is now. So hopefully it'll just be one list. I should be able to keep a lid on it, stop, dis you know, prevent discrepancies coming in and it should all be, it should all be kosher. And uh, hopefully my uh, record keeping will be on the level which is what I want because I've been so meticulous about it and the fact that I made a mistake and I can't find it, it really, really drives me mad trying to sort it out. But that's it. That's another change that I'm making for this year that hopefully will make things a lot easier. So yeah, I wanted to do this, this sort of catch up video, this update video to just say on the top of my year uh, chewing the fact that I did before Christmas and uh, I hope this has alleviated some of your concerns about my channel and uh, where it's going and where my collecting habit is going. So yeah, 
So look forward to some unboxing videos. Hopefully they will start next week. I'm, I've uh, a couple of the things I bought. One's been shipped already, but it's from America, so it might not arrive in time. But there's another one, another bot. It was the first bot that I I clicked the button on on January the first. The guy says he's no. The, the seller says he's in Northampton, but when I paid him on PayPal, it was a Chinese name. So I, I don't know what's going on there. But it's a nice, big, impressive. It's, it's a pretty good third party bot. So. Anyway, yeah, so that is a video I wanted to put out. I, I was sort of thinking about it and thinking, well, I don't know. The emphasis was there, you know, strike while the iron's hot while I'm thinking about it, put it out, here it is. Okay, so see you all later. Ta-da.